Okay, welcome to our third lesson in this uh, building of a Monte Carlo engine. We've got our main bits, so we've got our we've got our cooling stuff here in the main program. Oh, just need to do the wrong thing there. Uh, we've got the dot H file with all hopefully all our bits. We'll fix it if we haven't got everything we need. So let's get on now to our main class of file. Okay, now we need to just do the usual stuff. Okay, let's let's build our constructor then. So uh, oh, let's use the word ass, why not? So we're gonna have um, seven inputs, aren't we? So float that one strike. It's five floats, aren't there? So, float volatility, float, um, yeah, you could, could have one and a half years, remember. Um, it's going to be a long now for the steps and a long for the number of simulations. So, there on that. Okay, that's, that, that's good so far. Um, first thing we need to do now, I could I could have setter methods, but it's just going to take too long to type. So I'm just going to go straight into just typing, um, setting the private variables. Otherwise, we could be here forever. BSM strike, which is where's that? It's not strike. There it is. BSM growth equals. Growth, super, BSM, oh, what's next? Volatility, volatility, BSM vol equals uh, volty, BSM Black Shoals Merton years equals year, actually, it's probably better if I do put an S in there. It's not just a single year, is it? it could be 18 months, could be half a year, could be 10 years. BSM um, Monte Carlo. Yeah, there we are. BSM Monte Carlo Sims equals number of simulations that we're going to run. How many balls we're going to throw in a Monte Carlo wheel? Okay, I think that's probably enough for the moment. Let's just put our little destructor in there. do anything but might do something later. What's wrong with that? Looks right to me. Looks fine to me. What's that say? New definition of BSM. Looks alright. Oh. oh it's gone. Oh no it hasn't. We'll come back to that later if, uh, if anything goes hairy. Less, is there something in there? That's the wrong area. Ah, semicolon, sorry. There we go. Hopefully that's fixed it. There we go away. Oh, thank you. Good. Now, so we need to, oh, let's come back again. Sort that out later. Right. Void. BSM. Uh, log normal random walk. Now I'll come back to that later. Underneath there, we'll put all the usual. Uh, we'll put all the usual suspects, but we're just going to have getters this time. We're not going to bother with. Um, we're not going to bother with setters. Just take too long. So, get. What's I going to say? Get one of these things anymore. Which is the one I'm after? Um, I thought there we are. Return BSM asset. Oh, I need to tell it what it is, don't I? So it's going to return a float. Return BSM. 
there's our set gone. There it is. Super. So we've got a few of these to do. Get what? BSM and strike. Turn BSM strike. See, a lot of the coding is just grunge work, really. So, get what do we want next? The growth. Where's the growth one gone? There we are. Let's return BSM growth. How many floats? Three floats. Two more floats to go. BSM get. What's the next one we need? We need the volatility, don't we? Where's that gone? There it is. BSM vol, return BSM vol, super, that's four floats, two, one more float to go, BSM get, what's the last float, can't remember now, yes, that's right, so super, return BSM, yes, lovely, and we had two longs, didn't we, so long, BSM get, uh, steps. Let's return BSM steps. And then long BSM gets. Oh, what's the last one? Simulations. So return BSM to Carlos Sims. I think there. Now we did have uh, two other variables, didn't we, that we need to worry about. That is the <coughs> call price and the put price. So let's just uh, we'll have a little drink. Let's just do that. What are those variables called again? Yep. BSM call price, BSM put price. So lovely. They're both doubles. I don't know what's wrong with that. Well, we'll figure it out later. So I'll try to compile everything. So, um, double BSM gets call price. So that's going to return BSM call price. And then the last one, double BSM gets put price, which is there. Turn BSM put price. Lovely. Now we did have one other function, didn't we? We had a we're gonna have a randomizing function called RN, which is gonna return a random number just like the Excel rand command. So let's stick that in too. Let's put that down here. Actually that's gonna be useful straight after the um, the log normal random walk. So, what's that going to return? It's going to return a double. Uh, it's going to be BSM RN. And it's going to return some value. So I'll just say return 0 0.0 for the moment. So we're going to be calculating something. Right, let's um, get along with a whiz. Get that. What's wrong with the definition of that? What's, what's going on there? That's very weird. All right there. We don't even need it, so we don't desperately need it. Looks all right to me. Let's see if we get rid of it. It's nice to um, compile cleanly. We don't actually need it. What I'll do is I'll figure out what that is before the next lesson starts and then explain what happened. I could be there for hours with that one, and we don't need it anyway, so. Now, let's just fix these while we're here. Expected after expression. Okay. Oh, yes, used, missed out the usual business there. And there as well. Give it another run. Then 
and succeeded. Fantastic match. Bad excess code. Um, that will be because I haven't got anything sorted out yet, but let's just see if we can figure out what that is. Oh, I know what that is. What that is, is I am reading these arguments from the command line, but I haven't actually sent anything into the program, so let's just do that now as well. So this is going to be product scheme, edit scheme, I need seven elements. One first element's going to be the asset, I'm gonna set that to be price 100. Strike, I'm gonna set that, uh, set that to be 110. Um, the growth, I want to be 10%, sorry, not 10 like that, but 10% mathematically. Volatility, I'll set at 15%. Um, the years, I'll set to one. Steps, two, five, six. And the simulations, we'll just start with one to start with, that's obviously ridiculous. You wouldn't do a probability chart of, you know, one ball being thrown in a Monte Carlo wheel, but it'll do for the moment. Okay, now let's see if we can compile. If we can, we'll give it a give it a, a rest and come back in the next lesson. So stop. Build succeeded. Lovely. Obviously, we haven't got anything out because it's two zeros there really. But we will next time. What we're going to do next time, when we come back, we are going to put some stuff in here. So that will be what we, uh, what we do. There's going to be a whole load of code goes in here to do a Monte Carlo um, Black Shells Merton engine run. Okay. Look forward to it, it's going to be exciting. See you next time.